as a scientist, what excites me the most is every day we have new numbers for the efficiency and a new understanding about our materials and devices because there are still so many things to do in the field of Pelstar. Energyville has been developed based on the Wattsche coal mining site in Hank. The coal mining was closed in 1987. Energyville is a collaboration between several Flemish institutes and universities, including uh, University of Leuven, Vito, IMAC, and University of Hasso, in the field of uh, sustainable energy and intelligent energy systems. In short, we turn black to green energy. I'm highly motivated because I strongly believe that I'm doing something which could provide the society in the future with clean energy at even a lower price. In the field of photovoltaics, Perovskite per refers to uh, organic, inorganic, lead 14, halide based hybrid materials. It can be used as a light harvest material in solar cells. Perovskite solar cells has a relatively short history of about 10 years. In the very beginning, in 2009, the efficiency is only about 3.8%. But in this year, it has dropped off to above 25%. Compared to silicon, which requires high, high temperature process, such as above 1000 degrees C, perovskite can be wet drink at the room temperature and then can be annealed at the relatively low temperature of 100 to 150 degrees C. Perovskite also has an adjustable uh, bend gap just by changing the composition. For example, let's change the uh, highlight composition. So in this case, it can marry uh, silicon or CIGS solar cell to form a tandem fashion. For instance, the perovskite silicon tandem has already achieved 28% efficiency. Perovskite solar cells can be made in a semi-transparent fashion just by changing the band gap or the thickness. In this way, it can make the solar cell at a required transparency, which is very interesting for building applications. Because of the uh, potential for high efficiency at a low cost and the freedom for the appearance and the shape design, perovskite is highly attractive for commercialization. I think in the not far away future, Solar energy will become one of the main energy sources for the society. So let's say it again, we turn black to green energy. 